Uh, I'm hot up. Uh, uh, but I ain't super hot. <laughs> I sit at Starbucks. Uh, I'm sitting over here at Starbucks, and I was I was coming just to do some business, uh, get a little bit of paperwork done and whatnot. And uh, I actually ended up uh, connecting with our youth. Um, I, I I thought just maybe um, if I was to just talk to them, something could change. Uh, and it did. It occurred. Um, young man by the name of Toby. Good man. Uh, young woman by the name of Gabby. Uh, good job. Uh, keep your faith, man. Uh, I know your friends, but uh, Gabby and Toby, you were the ones I was mainly talking to. Uh, Gabby, keep your head up, girl. And everybody that know Gabby, stop fucking with her, okay? She's doing something, and, and, and let her do it, okay? Um, Toby, bro, a very intelligent young man, sitting right behind, literally, right behind us, and just bright, and he just, I can just tell he's going to do wonders uh, when he's done with his, 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 his studies. When he's done with his studies, man, y'all better watch out for Toby. Sociology major, but I'm telling you, he's going to go further than just sociology. If he's going to learn the mind, trust me, he's going to mastermind. Toby, you hear me, okay? Keep the faith, brother. Things will prevail for you. Will prevail for you if you just keep your faith and keep giving your negativity and all your negative thoughts straight to God. Just let it flow through God, and I'm, I'm telling you, brother. Things will start to turn up for you. Um, for all you non-believers, for all you uh, older demographic, you guys are doing yourself an injustice because you expect these kids to know something you have not taught them. You have not taught them loyalty. You have not taught them integrity. You have not taught them any of these things that you get mad at them for not being able to do. You sit there and you yell at them about certain things and, and I know these because I've been there. Trust me, I've yelled at my son before and made it seem like, you already know this. And I thought about it, I was like, I never taught my son that. So you guys gotta stop doing the injustice to yourselves and just, man, take the time out for these kids. It's time for us to give them time out, skip all that. It's enough time out for them because we're so damn busy working. The government is just trying to separate the families. The government. I didn't say people. I said the government. There are people in the government, but the idea of the government is to separate families and categorize everybody into a level. It's a, it's a, it levels to this, levels to this shit. Oh, there's not levels. There's words and labels. It's not levels, it's labels. What I mean by that? Hold on, let me sip, take a sip of this hot, hot, hot coffee. Hot, hot coffee. Labels to this. What do I mean by that? Hard, that's a label. Veterans, that's a label. See what I mean? They're all labels. Stop thinking you can't beat a label. You can beat something that's just a word. They always told us, Sticks and stones, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That can stand up in court. Did you, did you guys know that? <laughs> start using your brain, start deciphering shit. You kids and you kids, stop being so damn disrespectful. Give your mom and pops the benefit of the doubt. Give them that. Don't just say, oh, that I don't want to hear each other. Don't do that. Because when you do that, you're setting yourself up for failure. Because now your dad doesn't want to work. He don't want to do anything for you. You're ungrateful. You know, you think you're owed something. Yeah, it's because you're not getting the right something. You are owed, but it's not the right something. We're giving the kids toys in exchange for loyalty. We're giving them iPads in exchange for trust. Come on. Just give them time. My son has yet to touch an iPad. 
I'm so proud of him. Giovanni, you go, boy. Giovanni, Giovanni, Giovanni. Jace, you doing awesome, son. You keep prevailing. You surprise me every day, boy. I love you. Baby, you know how I feel. Peniani, get it, girl. You gonna, you gonna get it. You gonna get to that top that you looking for. Everybody else, that's 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 my little part of you. Jazz, Alayla, all of y'all, Carson, all of you guys. I see you guys. And I love you guys. I care about y'all because I've invested my time, not my money. Money comes and goes. Time, it comes and it goes. It ain't it come and go, it goes. It don't stop. You never seen time go back except for when it's daylight savings. But you see after it go back, it still go forward. To all my nieces and nephews, y'all know who y'all are. This is your Uncle Stan speaking to you. Listen up to your moms. Listen up to your dads. You guys act like you know something. You don't know jack crap. Okay? You don't. Because your mom and dad have been there. They have done that. We hear that saying all the time. And we don't show the significance of what we're really talking about. The kids, we, we say it to the kids and they think we're being arrogant. We're being ignorant. We're ignoring them. We're not trying to hear them. It ain't that. It's just the fact that we've been there, we've done that, and we don't want to go back to it. It's, it was just such a rough time. We don't want to remember that. We, we're, we're trying to get rid of the thought. But kids, parents, you, you have to. You have to. If you, you can agree to take a man's life, which is war, then you damn sure better agree to help these kids out. And make sure they survive the next centuries. Because, you know, honestly, I'm tired. Honestly, I'm tired. I I'm tired of this. I'm, 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 uh, every day I wake up, somebody dies on the TV. And it's the same person for like 18 days. And then it looks like somebody died for 18 days. <laughs> Y'all get what I'm saying? They exaggerate. I'm not exaggerating. Crap. You see me going 120? God damn it, I'm going 120. You see me going 140, and I hit 140 today, y'all. Yeah, I'm going 140. And I ain't slowing down for nobody. Cops ain't going to be quick enough to even notice me. 140 fly past you, you won't notice it. Especially if you just sitting. Yeah, a little gun going to get it, but you ain't going to see me. You're like, what the fuck? 140 miles an hour? Where'd it go? Exactly. I've been doing this shit for a while. So, y'all ain't never going to see me car that I'm in. If you know me, you know me. You know what I'm driving in. If you don't know me, you always go to you cops. You don't know what vehicle I'm in. And I love it. That's called confidentiality. That's what Google tried to do to me today. Confidentiality. Non-disclosure. How are you going to sit here before I sign anything? And get my name, number, address, da 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 And then say, okay, before we say anything, you can't say anything. But you're about to share all my information. Why do you think you people are getting constant phone calls from people in India? They're selling the damn phone numbers. They're, you think Google is that stupid to go around and survey and not make their money? Come on, they're a company. I'm a non-profit organization. I don't profit. I just want people to profit in faith. Profit in faith. That's it. Profit in their spirit. Profit in getting themselves together. That's it. Toby, you are, you already know. You need help or anything, bro? Call me. Layla. Penny. Giovanni. Lori. Joey. All you guys. Call me. Pick up the damn phone. That's all. Let's go.